Time for my final thought. Writing in a Facebook post, I was wrong, please forgive me. McCray Game, a leader of one of the biggest conversion therapy ministries in the nation, Hope for Wellness, has come out of the closet admitting that he is gay, seeking forgiveness from the LGBTQ community. Now, conversion therapy, also known as reparative therapy, are practices employed in some religious communities that claim to be able to cure a person of the illness of homosexuality. These practices, debunked and condemned by nearly every major medical group in America, including the American Psychiatric uh, Association and the American Medical Association, have been directly linked to emotional and psychological trauma, bringing depression, anxiety, and even suicide to some who have gone through them. 18 states, including D.C., have enacted laws banning the practice on anybody younger than 18, but nearly 700,000 LGBTQ identifying adults have gone through these programs, and for almost two decades, Game was overseeing the nation's largest. Now, Game, who is married in 1996, he also has two grown children. He's not the first leader of this movement to accept themselves and come out. He's one of several, and almost all of them agree these programs don't work. What does work? is self-acceptance, the shedding of any ideology that would tell you that who you are, who you were made to be is an illness, an illness that's to be cured through bogus therapy. This whole story just highlights the cycle of victimization. If people like McCray Game felt free to live their truth, he would have no need to derail the lives of so many other LGBTQ youth just to run away from himself. Now, while McCray Game and others like him have come to grips with that and have found a sense of peace and stability, they still have to deal with the facts and realities of all the troubled lives they left in their wake. Game seems to know this, saying he hopes the community will give him the chance to talk to them so he can hear them out and apologize. He also realizes that his apologies for many won't be nearly enough, but he plans to apologize for the rest of his life. And he should. We're going to continue this conversation online. You guys have a beautiful Wednesday. Get on up, DC. Sorry we was on CP time.